Heidi and you're watching Heidi K Makeup. It is time to do my finish four by the 4th of July update. Now this isn't going to be much of an update for you guys because I did start this project kind of late in um, March as soon as I finished my finish seven by spring. So it hasn't been a full month's worth of progress but I figure I want to get these posted around the 4th of each month. Now today is the 31st of March so I'm not even to the 4th yet. But my baby is due April 4th, so um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to update then. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little update for you guys now. It's not going to be a whole lot. Now, if you guys remember, these were all part of a Project Pan Roulette. These are kind of my favorite ways to do it. So I will have the categories listed down below. So if you guys want to do a product pan, Project Pan Roulette, you can. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I had was a product not worth the hype, and I went with the Wet n Wild uh, Brulee eyeshadow. It's fine. I finished up a similar color in my Pan That palette, so this is just the replacement color that I'm using for now. It's it's fine. I just don't like singles, and it's whatever, you know. So um, there is a little bit of a dent, and I have worn off some of the embossing on it but you can still see some of the embossing so we'll just keep using that I'm not worried about it I use it every day to set my concealer and also on my brow bone as kind of like a matte brow bone highlight um, the next product that I got was a product you hate to love and for this one I picked my physician's formula nude eyes uh, liquid metal trio it is a liquid liner in a nude shade which is very very weird but I use it actually as a liquid eyeshadow. Um, now I did not know when I picked this, but it is almost gone. Like the packaging on this is super frustrating because the um, actual brush only reaches to about there, and then it's really hard to scrape everything else out. So I actually removed the stopper, and I've been using this as an eyeshadow base. So I just take like a really thin. Um, eyeshadow pencil brush and dip that in or just the back of any brush and dip that in to get all the way down to this stuff because there's a whole bunch of product down here still. It's fine. It, it gives a really glittery effect and I've been using it as an eyeshadow base under just about anything that I'm wearing. However, with the eyeshadow that I'm wearing for my Pan That palette, this doesn't really seem to make a difference. So I think this will be the first product to go, but it's whatever. <laughs> and then I have two more products left. Um, the one that I got was a cheek product. Now that for that I picked my uh, Too Faced highlight in Candlelight. This shattered and so I had to go ahead and repress it. I took a picture of it before I repressed it so I will insert what it looked like before I repressed it. There was quite a bit of pan showing. Um, but I want to hit pan in this again by next month. And my battery is dying, so I have one last thing to update you guys on, and that is this Wet n Wild lipstick. And I think this will be no problem. I'm just reapplying it pretty easily. I don't have a problem with lipsticks for some reason. Gloss is a little bit trickier, but I've been wearing this over my lip liner from my other project, and it looks great, and I really, really like it. This is within these Adobe's, and that was supposed to be a drugstore product. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, you can hit the subscribe button so the next time I do a video, you'll know about it. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.